are LMTV, Lynn Mar Television, now in our 10th year of award-winning broadcast excellence. Lynn Mar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lynn Mar. It's Friday, March 7th, 2014. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. Can you believe it? Only one week left in the quarter. Ten weeks left in the school year. Time for a two-day break. The team of Nick, Nate, and Amanda are here with the LMTV Weekend Report. Guys, what's happening on the weekend? Well, there are two big events on campus tonight. First is the Children's Theater production of Winnie the Pooh. The show opened last night to rave reviews. Show times are 4.30 and 7 p.m. Tonight. tonight! And tomorrow at 2 and 4.30. Tickets are just $3 each. Meanwhile, at the other end of the building is the Powder Buff Games, 7 p.m. in the main gym. Junior and senior guys compete for volleyball dominance. No admission is required, but we are asking that you bring packages of adult socks or underwear to help people in need in the community to not go in the buff. There will be games with prizes for the crowd between the matches. So come on out and make this a success. Again, it's tonight at 7 in the main gym. And tomorrow, it's Neba Jazz at Waterloo West. We have two new movies to tell you about. Mr. Peabody and Sherman. The time-traveling adventures of an advanced canine and his adopted son as they endeavor to fix a time rift they've created. 300, Rise of an Empire. After Xerxes' father is killed by the Greeks during the Battle of Marathon, he seeks to become a god and eventually comes face to face with the Athenian commander, Themistosceles. Well, that's gonna be one intense standoff. Well, guys, that's your weekend. Make it a good one. Uh, Sam, back to you. Thank you very much, guys. Also, this weekend, uh, Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel comes out, but that's only in select theaters and not at Werenberg. In other news, do you want a pizza party in your fifth period or third block class? Here's how you can. All next week, Mr. Kibbe's English it's theory class will be holding a contest to see which class can collect the most personal hygiene items to be donated to the Mission of Hope. The top three classes with a donation amount over 30 items will receive a prize. Cat Power's class will be around during fourth block today to collect your hy receipts. You still have time to drop them in and into any hy envelope in any teacher's room. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. It's not acceptable to call me a nigger. It's not acceptable to call me a speck. To call me a chink. To call me a fag. It's not acceptable to call me a kike. It is not acceptable to call me a retard or call yourself or your friends retarded when they do something foolish. The R word is the same as every minority slur. Treat it that way and don't use it. Spread the word to end the word. Welcome back. This is the last day to order your AP exams. Get an AP exam order form in the TAG office, room J202, before 12.30 today. Remember, $15 must be paid for each exam by 12.30 this afternoon. Now, Maddie, sports extraordinaire, sports knowledge enthusiast, sports connoisseur, is here with the sports. Maddie. Great. Thanks, Sam. Intramural basketball has wrapped up for this year. And the champion team included Andrew Gassman, Taylor York, Ben Johnson, Spencer Schaefer, Sean Connor, and Logan Venter. Congratulations, guys. And don't forget tonight's powder buff game in the main gym. Be sure to bring some new skivvies for the homeless in our community. That's Sports Sam. Back to you. Thank you very much, Maddie. In news from the counseling office, a rep from the University of Iowa is in the counseling office this morning. Stop by and see what Iowa has to offer. The Civil Air Patrol will be in the counseling office on Monday. Come see what the Civil Air Patrol is all about. A representative from Capri College will also be in the counseling office Monday at 9 a.m. Stop by for a visit. For more about upcoming college visits and career opportunities, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Anadi Spittle joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Anadi. Thanks, Sam. On the Arts and Clubs scene, FFA members planning to attend the District FFA Convention at North Fayette Valley High School next Saturday must see Ms. Lemmer today. Meanwhile, FFA members that are interested in the problem of world hunger and would like to write an essay about it and attend a discussion at Iowa State with 100 to 200 other students across the state, please see Ms. Lemmer ASAP. LMTV has some openings on our crew. Freshmen are especially invited. Stop by the studio any morning at 7.15 to find out more. That's your club update. Sam Patala, back to you. Thank you very much, Anadi. Now Maddie joins us with today's lunch. Maddie, I hope it's something good. 
Well, Sam, it's crispitos with cheese sauce, lettuce and diced tomatoes, refried beans and pear slices. The other line will offer the soup and sub sandwich bar. In the food court, it's chicken patty sandwich and baked fries. That's lunch. Back to you. Thank you very much, Maddie. Now, weathercaster and genuinely good person, Maddie Spencer is here with a warmer weekend forecast. Thank you, Sam. We could see 41 degrees today, but there's a slight chance of rain after school. Tomorrow looks partly sunny and 30 degrees, and Sunday looks has sunny skies and 40 degrees. That's your warmer weekend forecast. Get out and enjoy it. Sam, back to you. Sounds beautiful, Maddie. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. From the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again on Monday. Make it a great weekend, Linmar.